Hi there, I'm Harrison. I feel like I'm in the uh, the headmaster's office down here. Um, <laughs> well, a bit of anxiety. Yeah, well, you're pretty close to it because we've got some tough things to discuss today. Welcome to Between Two Rescue Boards, and uh, we'll be having a little bit of a discussion with all the lifeguards, just on a bit of generally everything. What would some facts be about yourself that might surprise the viewers? Things that they wouldn't know, that they wouldn't pick up about what they see on Bondi Rescue. I love eating. What's your signature dish if you got to cook for yourself? My signature dish would have to be probably like I reckon halloumi. So pretty much your signature dish <laughs> is a bit of olive oil in a pan. Yeah. Cut the halloumi, put it in there, take yeah, it off. A bit of Himalayan rock salt. And that's it. Yeah. That's all you've got. <laughs> what would you plan oh, for that first special date? Oh, wow. With he or she. I'm, I'm still waiting for that first special date. Yeah, but it's, you, you've got to plan it. It'll, it'll have to be something I'm, I'm comfortable in. So, uh... Well, hopefully clothes. Yeah, I was going to say, for so... The first bit. I can't, I, can't, I can't be really at the beach, because I have to take my shirt off and back to the ordinary rink, you know, like... I'd, I'd probably... At least you'd be tan, though. Yeah, I'd be tan. Like, that's my motto, you know. If you can't tone it, you've, you've got to tan it. Yeah, I've seen some younger photos of yourself. You weren't actually that tan and you weren't that toned, <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, look, a perfect date would probably have to be, I reckon, a nice stand-up paddle. Go to the harbour and uh, go for a paddle late afternoon. Well, look, you yeah. just don't know. And uh, that, maybe that's why you're still single. Mate... Have you ever thought that you've just got no game plan and that's why you're still single? Mate, I'm, maybe that's, that's where I've gone wrong. What's a hobby of yours that, that you like doing on your days or something that takes your mind away from the beach? Yeah, that's um, <laughs> when I first moved here. So I used to walk everywhere. You've joined a walkers group, haven't you? No, I haven't. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can leave right now. No, not that bad, not that bad. What sports do you like? I mean, don't say walking, walking isn't a sport. It's, it would be golf. It's kind of a, a mental, mental toughness. Playing golf, you know, it's, it's frustrating. You've got to golf's, remain calm. Golf's a little bit like lifeguarding if you you put the two in comparison. Yeah. No matter how good your equipment is, how good the day is. Yep, you just have a shocker and you leave the joint so angry. But you should be really thinking, I'm so lucky I got to play golf today. Yeah. What's more important to you, your rig or your lifeguarding skills? Oh, jeez, <laughs> definitely, um, definitely the rig. And so uh, that's why I'm not a good lifeguard. Well, that led me on to <laughs> my next question. When do you think you'll become a good lifeguard? <laughs> right, I've been trying for years. <laughs> well, 12 seasons in, we thought, and been a part of the last four, we thought you would have picked up a few things. Mate, definitely not. So we're like a big family. Yeah. And um, if you were stuck on a desert island, which lifeguard would you want to be with? And why? It'll be between you yep. because I know you like you're camping, you got your truck, you know, you're a bit of a handyman, and also quickers being qu being cool. quickly. Yeah. Because mate, everything he touches turns to go turns to go up. And on the opposite scale, if you were stuck in an elevator, what lifeguard would you want to be with? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it'll be it'd have to be Jake Nolan. Jake. Imagine, imagine imagine him tapping. He'll be doing these ones the whole time. But at least. Well, I just want to thank you for sharing a little bit of knowledge. And is there anything that you want to leave us with or leave the viewers with that they should know about coming to the beach? For all those people out there, if you can't tone it, you can tan it. All right. And you look just as good. Well, I'd actually say swim between the flags, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, my moral conscience is a bit different than yours. <laughs> maybe I should just go. Yeah, I think so. You can go walk it off. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Thanks, Betty. See you, mate. <laughs>